How much longer, hon? Just gotta put the mower away. What were you doing with the garden hose? I just picked up this little gizmo called a hose bib vacuum breaker over at the hardware store and we need to make sure we use it on the hose from now on. Why is that? Well, you know the horseshoe shaped pipe on the sprinklers that comes out of the side of the house? The one that we blow out every fall to keep it from freezing? Yes. Well, that's called a backflow preventer and it keeps the sprinkler water from flowing from the yard back into our drinking water. Our building codes require that device for our in-ground irrigation systems. This works the same way, but attaches to our spigots for use with our garden hose. I was reading the dictionary the other night, and Webster tells me that backflow means a flowing back or returning toward the source. So you mean outside water and liquids from our yard could actually wind up coming out of our kitchen faucet? Exactly. Kitty pools, doggy baths, even radiator fluid. Whatever the hose is hooked to, if the pressure reverses, it can suck it right back into our drinking water if the hose is left in the fluid. That's awful. Disgusting. Even dangerous. It takes a two-inch airspace between the fluid and the hose to prevent this from happening. I hope I can remember that. Well, this little hose bib vacuum breaker does the work for you. That's a relief. I wonder if our neighbors Mike and Jenny know about this. We better let them know. There's a new state law and city ordinance about it. The City of Loveland Water and Power is requiring each household and business to check out their spigots, hoses, and irrigation systems to make sure that we don't contaminate our drinking water. We need to tell them to check out the City of Loveland's Water and Power website for more information. Yeah, the more people we tell, the safer we'll be. It's not just a block thing, it affects the whole city.